Welcome to SBS. My name is Fitzroy, and I collect silver coins for fun. So, let's get this video started off nice and fine with a new favorite of mine. And that's right in front of you, folks. That is my coin leaders. The American Eagle 1 ounce silver and ounce reverse proof coin. So, let's give you a look at my prize lady here. Walking lady. Here she is. And this is the COA. I believe nothing special about the COA this time around. It's not one of the coveted signature uh, COA here. Just a regular... But it means a lot to me in any case. It's at a very high, uh, I believe, uh, serial number, as you will see for yourself. No signature. And that's the close to the far end, but the prize is a win nonetheless. As most of you are familiar with the uh, distress many have experienced trying to get their hands on one of these, and the sheer joy for those who have received one or two or three <laughs> many outcries in that department but that's another subject for another time okay so here we go let me unbox this baby i do like this on this like velvet type packet um uh case i guess it feels very great for, I guess it's more like premium to, premium now for the price that it's going for these days. Okay. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. My walking lady. The one and only which I personally had the luck of the draw of receiving. Not the one of only coin, but you know what I mean. Uh, so... Let me try to prep her up here for us to see better. So, this is a very, very beautiful coin. And I have to say, when I first started to collect, I did receive um, an American Silver Eagle, which is one of my daily coins. Uh, let me get it for you a second. I have to show my little baby here. My daily walker. And this is it. This is my coin that I bought from day one. And it's the coin that I take with me pretty much everywhere, back and forth. So since the time I purchased this coin, I've been carrying it around with me everywhere. And whenever the subject of precious metals and silver comes up, I tend to show it to others and people. And they surprise at the weight, you know, how beautiful it is. And then this slowly led me to this particular coin here, which I have heard, I think was the first person that got me onto this coin was, um, I think it was this, uh, I forgot his name, uh, Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge Silverhound. He's the one, he explained it so well <laughs> that I actually signed up to the US Mint just to try to get my hands on one of these, which I did, as you can see. And also, with that said, and as someone who's um a new uh, who's a new to collecting, I'm about ten months in in collecting coins. This particular coin uh, got me so driven, so much so that I have decided to procure future proofs of the American Silver Eagles, adding to my current collection. Of the 2018 W, 2019 S, and W proofs. And looking at this coin, I haven't seen any blemishes or any f flaws so thus far. And um, speaking from an amateur perspective, I think this coin could easily receive a PF70. 
that's just an opinion in a way. And aside from collecting the uh, proof, I am looking forward to collecting more of the, uh, not more, actually start to collect the 2020s, American Silver Eagles. I recently purchased the, um, the proof from the U.S. Mint yesterday. And I'm waiting for that one to be uh, delivered so I can make a video of that one as well. The 2020s seem to have a, a nice ring to them. And I would definitely like to stack a, a few tubes of those. Alongside some of the, um, the 2019 as well. I haven't gotten my hands on much of those since last year. Um, but I will see where 2020 takes me. But my motto is going, going ahead. It's more of um, I will do what has to be done when it has to be done. I am not going to make any resolution or any promises which in itself may become a lie. So I'm just going to do what has to be done when it has to be done. Whether it's in con collecting or anything else that life throws my way. But con collecting is one of my favorite hobbies right now. And I really enjoy doing it. I actually doing it, I'm doing it for fun. And when the time comes, I'll pass it on to my son. And he could decide what to do with them thereafter. But for now, these are for my own enjoyment. So let me give you guys a close-up look of this coin. Because I found it very beautiful. It's, it is a very beautiful coin. And through my own eyes, I haven't seen, noticed any flaws. And to me, this is a PF70. Because uh, the thing is, I'm not planning on selling or sending it for grading. That's, I'm going to leave up to my son. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think this might be worth grading? And do you think it might be in the class of a P of 70? It is a beautiful coin. And I'm going to enjoy much time looking at it. It's like, um, this is what it feels like uh, to bask in the moonlight, you know, looking at this coin. They said silver is like the moon, moonlight metal. And I do see the quality of silver. It, got, it has many merits. And with that said too, I would also like to get my hands on a few ounces of silver, of gold as well. So I'm looking forward to get my first ounce of silver very soon. And that's, I believe, it's the American uh, Liberty from the U.S. Mint. I think it was from 2018. So I'm looking forward to purchase that as well very soon. Okay. I am going to have to go now since time is... Is running very quickly taping and I'm not very good at uh, uploading and taping still trying to learn the ropes okay so like I said everyone please let me know what you think and um, until next time may all of our silver cups run it over if you do like this with video please give a thumbs up or down if that's how you feel and please do subscribe. Thanks for watching.